on today i'll be making a daphne bell bottoms in 18 inch bingo so we're gonna make some um black african i mean some for black history month so get the fabric um, so you have the this the pants part it's the bell bottom part and then this is the waistband so get my scissors all right so the waistband you gotta cut on a fold so cut on a fold means use this part to cut on the fold. And then, so you put it on here. It's always best to try to save fabric, so you're gonna put that in a little bit more. So about, uh, you're gonna make it perfect so you won't waste fabric. So about here. So you're gonna cut it. You say cut on the fold. So this is the fold. You're gonna cut on the fold. These are not my good scissors. There we go. All right, so you got the waistband. So now it's time for the So you're gonna cut two of those. You're not cutting this on a fold, but I'm folding it here and I'm just gonna cut both sides. So, see how I did? Never mind my nail, the one nail off. Right, so like I said, you're not cutting on the fold. Uh, I love making bell bottoms. This is my first time making bell bottoms for American Dial, though. So we shall see how it turns out. So you got the two pieces cut out. So you got this piece, that piece. You got the waistband. So now it's time for the bell bottoms part. All right. All right, so this part is, you're gonna cut on the fold on both sides. So to do that, you're gonna have to fold it halfway. And then I'm gonna fold it again going up. That way it can be on the fold. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So fold, cut on a fold. So this a fold right here and this a fold right there. So you're gonna put it, it say cut on fold. So you're gonna put the fold right here and then say cut on fold. So you're gonna put 
fold and fold. So they both on the fold and you're just gonna cut around it. And you're gonna do that two times. So after you turn on the fold, Cut on a fold, this is what you get. You get a half circle. When you open it up, it becomes a full circle and it that is going to be the tail. How cute is that? All right, so you gotta do another one of those. So again, fold in half. And then you're going to fold it again. Again, fold, fold. This on a fold, put it on a fold, put that on a fold. And here we go. half circle and then full circle so you got this half no sorry you got this full circle full circle waistband and then the part of the pants so now we're gonna head to the sewing machine all right everyone so you're gonna take the front piece and the back piece you're gonna put them together and you're gonna sew down here and you're gonna take it on the other side and sew it that way. You can either serge it or sew it. If you sew it, you need to do a um, stretch th um, stitch. So that's like the um, zigzag or the lightning bolt. So yeah, I'm gonna serge this. Um, my daughter right here, she's, I'm trying to teach her how to sew as well. So yeah, she's eight. All right, so let's take this to the machine. Again, you should probably use pins. I never use pins, but if you're a beginner, you should probably use them. So to surge it, you just gonna put, like I said, surge down the line. ends off they use um, glue I just tie mine tight and pull so that um, it won't become unraveled I tie bam and cut it tie both sides Um, search, you see, nice, clean edge. So you're gonna do the other side the same way. Line it up and then, 
just going down. I like using my serger because it's super quick. And it makes the ends um, super clean. Like the professional scene. Like you look in the inside of your clothes, it's probably surged. Nice and professional. Again, pull it tight. Some people just pull it and leave it. I don't. I'm afraid that it's gonna unravel, but they say it don't, but I don't wanna try it. So, again, tie as tight as you can to bring, to get to like the top. Tie this one, Boop. Um, even making it in the bigger sizes, they are super quick. Um, to me, the hardest part of sewing is putting the patterns together. If you have a projector, super quick. Um, my projector didn't really work out for me. So that's that. So then you're gonna open it up to the, so one front, one back. And then you're gonna go down the middle. And you're gonna surge down the crotch. Get the tie them nuts. Tie them nuts. All right, so after you surge the crotch, the back and the front, now it's time to attach the bells. Uh, you're gonna turn it inside out, I mean outside. So now it just looks like you have a pair of leggings. Even that is cute. So uh, you got a pair of leggings pretty much. <laughs> so, to attach the bell, you're gonna take the bell part, you're gonna do right sides facing. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So when I say right sides facing, you're gonna take this and this. So you're gonna attach the bell part opening to the raw edge. So when I say right sides facing, so when you turn it inside out, you see how the right sides are facing. So you're gonna surge around gonna surge around it so this the bell this the bottom of the legging so this the raw edge and this the raw edge you're gonna make sure you flip it up so that the right sides are facing and then you're gonna sew the raw edges together all right Bell bottoms are so cute on kids. So for babies, I mean for the baby doll, super cute. So if you get this pattern, um, it's from, I don't know if I said it, uh, Daphne Bell Bottoms from Samantha Marie Design. Um, so if you get this pattern, they have a bundle deal for the kids and the baby doll. Um, they come in 13 inch, 15 inch, and 18 inch. So if you make this, 
pattern. I mean, if you get the bundle, you can make um, use your daughter some as well as her doll, American doll or whatever. Um, 13, 15, or 18 inch doll that she has. How cute to have them matching. Ready to see the cute bell attached? That'd be cute. All right, so here go one bell. Cute. <laughs> so time to do the other bell. All right. Remember, right size facing, raw end. Yeah, right size facing, raw end. Turn it inside out, flip it up, and then search all together. And we are almost done. You can whip these up in no time, as well as the kids. If you need me to do the kids version, I will. All right, here we go. See, that's why you should use the clips. Don't be like me. Because then it's essentially spandex uh, stretch material roll. So if you don't use clips, you gotta make sure that you unroll it. So that slows down your process. So, like I said, don't be like me. But it is what it is. It's all good. See the other bell? All we gotta do is attach the waistband next. Look at these. Ain't these the cutest thing ever? So cute. All right, so the waistband. Time for the waistband. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the waistband in half, but you're gonna do it with right sides together because you don't want the seams showing. If I keep it like this and then sew it down, you're gonna all the seams gonna be exposed. So you wanna do right sides together. Right sides together and match up the sides and then you're gonna either sew rigid or use your sewing machine. One thing I like about this serger, I don't have the thing, but it it's a small thing that connects here and it catches all the raw um, fabric that falls. As well as it has a um, knife that you just clip your threads. So I'm also gonna show a video how to, um, how to thread the machine. Super easy. I love this machine. It sews like butter. So yeah, so after you, after you do that, so you're gonna fold it down in half. 
you got so you're trying to hide the seams so you're gonna do this so basically here it go one continuous circle and that's where the seam was at you can't even see barely so see how the thread is hidden I didn't cut that down Ignore that part. <laughs> All right, so time for to put it on here. All right, so you can tell the front from the back because the front is a little higher than the back. So you're gonna match up that to the back. The seam, you're gonna put that to the back. Again, raw edges. Match up your raw edges. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> match up your raw edges. So. Of course, I'm gonna use a. All right, so. Once you do that, you're gonna surge around there, or so, whichever you prefer. All right, and this is the last piece of the puzzle. And then, we're gonna put it on a baby doll and show you it. Again, if you use a, if you use clips or pins, it wouldn't take as long as it's taking me because it's taking me like this because I'm trying to unroll the fabric that sometimes rolls together. But. are done you could hem the pants if you want to but i'm not going to um you can use your cover stitch um you can do a roll hemmed on your soldier um, or a lettuce heel hem that would be super cute or you could just hem it with your sewing machine um again like i said you could do either or but i'm not going to because it's knit and it's not going to unravel. So here the final here's the final thing and I'll be back to put it on the house.